Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Blue Archive video. Alright, so the Wakamo Hovercraft raid is right now here, Total Assault. And there's two characters that I would say are pretty staple for this particular raid uh, that some of you guys might not build. And one of them is going to be Utaha, the other one is going to be Amy. Now these two characters I would say are pretty much going to be um, the most helpful character by far. And fortunately, both of them are literally free, right? You can basically get Amy from the joint firing drill and Utaha can be obtained uh, you can get her shots easily every single day from buying from the PvP shop, the Tactical Challenge. So this is something that you hopefully, you know, hopefully you guys are able to, you know, have some sort of decent level, decent stars moving into this. So let's talk about the insane raid. How do you want to tackle this particular one, a uh, total assault for insane hovercraft? And I'm going to try to give you guys a little bit of other uh, variety of strategy, right? But the staple one is going to be Mika, alright, so she is pretty much, I would say a must-have to a certain extent. You need two copies of her. You need your own Mika, you need to borrow your friend's Mika for, for the phase two. You need two teams to beat this. As far as I know, I don't think you can do this with one team. I don't think it's possible. Uh, if anyone has any strategy that can beat Insane in one team, feel free to share it in the comment section below, right? I would love to have a look at it. But for now, this is going to be somewhat of a, a very common strategy that you'll see around, right? So you have Mika, alright, as your... Main DPS, you need Koharu, you need one healer, or else she's, the enemy is going to do a, a bunch of damage. You want a CC character, in this case, Kayoko. Now, why Kayoko? Let's talk a little bit about why Kayoko, why not Tsubaki or anyone else. So, Kayoko has uh, the CC bar that Wakamo has. You need to be able to fill the entire CC bar by your own. All right, Kayoko is the only character that can do that because she not only has this on her 6 cost EX skill, right? She also has this other CC cost right here which uh, does inflict fear every 20 seconds and it's 30% chance so it is a little bit of RNG so if you don't trigger this you might want to consider restarting the round sometimes this can happen so ideally in most cases you want to be able to combine these two skill to be able to fill the entire bar to stun Wakamo if Wakamo's uh, CC gauge gets filled she gets stunned so that's the whole objective of you bringing Kayoko she's going to be the best free character that you have I, I hope everyone has her but whether or not you build her is one it's a totally different thing right so uh, amy is going to be good right here so why amy in particular why not subaki or any other tank so wakamo for the insane all right hovercraft this boss as you can see the attack type is piercing so that means they will be able to hit you uh, uh you know you cannot bring piercing defense character right obviously you're going to get destroyed so if you look right here so piercing uh if your defense type is light if your red type you resist a uh, piercing so which is what we're going to do right we have uh amy so defensive type has to be light if you bring something like subaki based on my experience uh subaki is blue and that is going to be uh blue and and piercing is like neutral it's like a normal all right there's no reduction damage reduction so you still can die from time to time so amy is still ideally going to be tankier in most situations in most cases you don't need to activate her skill she doesn't need to do anything she just needs to be there all right she just needs to be there to take the hits for you and she's a free character you can buy her uh her, her shots easily from the shop right and one more character that's i would say pretty prominent right now is going to be new year fuuka all right so new year fuuka himari this is going to be a character that you know hopefully you can cycle through now if you don't have new year fuuka you can use Ako, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of strategy. Although it's going to be difficult, you might have to three team this if you don't have New Year Fuuka. So let me first show you guys with this particular strategy. All right, we're going to have Kayoko, uh, New Year Fuuka, and of course, a Himari right there. So we're going to jump in right into this. Okay, so it's uh, every single sequence is going to be very important. So I'm going to try to explain along the way, and I'll try to reduce the, the speed so you guys can observe it. So notice now, the first thing you want to do when you go in, you want to activate Kayoko's skill. This bar, this uh, circle bar as you can see on top, we're going to try to activate that, stun Wakamo. So Kayoko will be able to feel that and you can see she got stunned. So now we're going to use New Year Fuuka on, on my uh, Mika, alright. And then, we're going to wait for a little bit, she's going to hit us, boom 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 boom. Okay, that is a lot of damage, right? That is a lot of damage, alright. So I'm gonna go in with Mika right now. Kayoko stun her again. All right. So Kayoko stun. Uh, we did manage to CC her. By the way, Kayoko's a uh, second and third round onwards. She doesn't really do it anymore. So just heal when your damage is low. All right. I'm gonna wait for a bit. 
And let's see. I'm gonna buff Kayoko Stun. And then Mika should while she's down. So that way we do more damage, right? So again, I'm gonna do that. Alright, so make sure the sequence is uh, in order. Oh, heal. Okay. So you only need to do that three times, as you can see. Now, uh, there's no more bar. There's no more CC bar, right? As you can see. Oh, we almost died right there. Holy. So we're just gonna make sure to, to do this in sequence. Do that. Uh oh. Oh, man. That's gonna be a bit painful, but it's fine. We're just gonna buff Mika. So the next sequence, we're gonna be able to uh, one-shot her. Now, I'm not sure what triggers this running scene. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. So it's a little bit uh, weird. Okay, so now we enter phase two. Alright, so this is how you do it with this particular team. Now, I'm gonna show you with a different team, alright? So usually, phase two, you want to forfeit this, so you don't waste the time, because you won't be able to beat it with one team. Uh, based on my experience, it's just uh, impossible to beat it with one team. So I'm gonna show you a different strat, uh, just so if, in case you guys do not have New Year uh, Fuuka, which I know some of you guys do not have New Year Fuuka, right? Now, you can replace Amy with Sukuyo. Sukuyo is also a very strong character. Now, if you don't have New Year Fuuka, very, very simple, you just gotta swap her with Ako. Ideally, I don't really recommend that, because Ako is kind of, uh, I would say, kind of staple in the phase 2, right? <laughs> so uh, you ideally want to be able to heal the, the turrets in phase 2 by using Ako. But if you don't have Nier Fuka, you gotta use Ako in phase 1. So in phase 2, you gotta use another healer. So which I'm gonna try to explain later on in phase 2. But just so in case uh, you don't have New Year Fuka, this is going to be something that you want to consider doing, right? So you have this, uh, the strategy is going to be the same, uh, everything is going to be the same, although your order and your turns are a little bit skewed in a way, right? Okay, so again, we're going to jump in very straightforward. So first round, we're going to start off with Kayoko. Alright, we just wait for a little bit. Uh, timing is going to be much more crucial because it's definitely going to be way tighter. So we're going to stun uh, Wakamo as follows. And then now we're going to wait for a little bit. Uh, again, you want to do Ako, Himari, and what's her name? Ako, Himari, and uh, Mika, right? So we're going to do this right now. And I'm going to try to stun the boss and heal everyone. Okay, so let's see if we can try to do Ako, Himari, and uh, Mika, which is going to be very expensive. So I can also do this. Oh, so we are going to be able to stun. Okay, that's very scary. Actually, I should have used uh, Koharu there to heal. Okay, now that's, this is going to be very scary. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, that's a lot of damage actually. Holy moly. That damage is just... Uh, yeah, it's just crazy. Okay, so as you can see the sequence, now we are running through. The TB is running. It's kind of cute, right? As you can see, the of course, the, um, the turn order is a little bit different. Gonna heal, okay, Wakamo, and then Mika. So this is how you do it without New Year Kayoko, right? Ah, it's pretty much the same concept. Alright, now let's talk about Phase 2. Okay, so for Phase 2, you want to borrow your Mika's friend. Alright, so this is going to be pretty straightforward. So just borrow whoever that you think has a UE50. It probably doesn't matter, alright? So something like this, you will have Ui to basically help Mika and then you have uh, Maki and Neru which both characters easily accessible to a lot of players. Uh, you don't really need Serena, you need Ako. But I'm going to show you guys a, a different team later that you got if you have to use Ako on phase 1 because you don't have New Year Fuuka. I will show you guys after this. That one is going to be a little bit more of a struggle. Not having New Year Fuuka is definitely making it so that you have to like maybe 3 team even. But this is going to be something that I believe a lot of players have access to. Now why Neru, right? Because the boss actually has a mechanic where... So there's this particular skill right here where the hovercraft, you can see, is attacked 15 times. Damage received increased by 10%. So it relies on multiple hits. It relies on uh, a lot of hits for you to be able to uh, deal damage to the hovercraft uh, in terms of 
in in a very insane manner, right? So therefore, character like Nehru that has uh, lots of hits on the hovercraft can help boost that damage. Ideally, like with high attack speed, those are going to be a very important one. So we're gonna jump straight into it. So let's show you guys. Utaha doesn't need to do anything. Uh, she's there because like she can summon turret, especially if you have Utaha with exclusive uh, equipment. She can do that easily. And you just gotta focus on Ui uh, buffing between Nehru and Mika. So make sure the alternate order is correct. So let's show you guys, all right? So we're gonna start off with Ui. Ui is gonna buff Mika, all right? So we're just gonna do that. So for now, we are just going to focus on... Okay, I'm gonna use Nehru. And then we're gonna use uh, Akko buffing Mika. And then we're gonna try to shoot down the hovercraft, right? So now the hovercraft escaped, and then you can see there's this turret right now. So the turret is whatever, so now we're gonna buff... Nehru is gonna shoot this. Akko buffing Mika, so we're gonna do that. So you can see there's these two turrets at the side, they can also help us, but uh, Akko would be the one focusing on, on healing them. Uh, so hopefully she does just that. Okay, so we're gonna, now the, the hovercraft is back. So I'm gonna use this on, on Nehru. Then Nehru go here. So I'm gonna wait for 6 costs. The damage is quite painful. I can't see anything. Okay, do this and this. And then now Ui is going to buff uh, Mika again. So we just alternate between these. Okay, so now this turret is back. So I need to wait for my uh, Utaha to summon these turrets. This definitely very very helpful to basically uh, deal with these small uh, characters. Uh, who? Okay, I don't know who do I need next. Is it her? Oh no, I buffed wrong. So I I buffed the order in the wrong in the wrong manner. But definitely having a uh, what's her name? I think I misclicked there. Holy moly! Yeah, I think I I definitely misclicked there. Okay, so now we're gonna enter the the sequence. Where Wakamo is gonna do a bunch of damage. Uh, buff Mika again. Nehru. I wonder if this is enough. Okay, so time 16. Okay, close enough. Uh, I believe Nehru is the one that needs him, is I get six costs. If I get six costs, that's more than enough. Okay. So yeah, I'm able to, to beat it with uh, two teams. Ideally, this is how you want to do it. Now, this seems easy and it is, right? If you have all these right characters, it is actually pretty easy. Now, if you do not have New Year Fuuka, that's where it gets a little bit difficult. Uh, I happen to have New Year Fuuka, so I can use Akko in round two. In, in the phase 2. And if you don't have New Year Fuka, you're gonna struggle. Uh, because this is where you gotta use Akko in phase 1, and then your phase 2 is gonna get screwed because you are supposed to use a Serena, because you need a healer, right? And then, everything is gonna be skewed all over. So I'm gonna show you, in case you are one of those unlucky person that did not play during New Year Fuka's banner, how can you do this? Uh, maybe with 3 teams, right? Because realistically, it's gonna be really hard to do it with 2 teams if you have to push your Akko to phase 1. Now Serena's job is simple, straightforward, she's just there to to heal, right? She's just there to heal and make sure that, uh, you know, we're not going to, we are not going to be able to two-team this realistically, alright? If most of you guys who are watching this, uh, I don't think you can two-team with this team. If you don't have New Year Fuka, it's just going to be a big, big, big difference. You gotta three-team this. So uh, I, I'm still gonna show you how to do it. But uh, pretty straightforward, we start off with Ui on Mika, right? And then we're gonna use Nehru. Uh, and then Mika. And then we're gonna use uh, Serena on one of the turret. And then we're gonna use this. And then we're gonna do this. 
and then gonna do this and then gonna heal the other turret or oh, the other turret is healed and that's fine okay so now we're gonna use that on Mika actually let's see if it's possible there are still hope and still a sliver of chance we on Meru now Ui on Meru Okay, Ui going to go on Mika now Ui on Mika Meru still have that I wonder if it's possible, I know it's gonna be super tight I'm just healing uh, now Ui back to Nehru and then Ui is gonna go to Mika later on Ooh. okay I, I'm focusing on that instead let's heal my Ui okay Mika on this yeah I don't think we can do it the sequence is you just don't have the damage. The damage is not enough. Ako and... What's the name? Ako and Serena. Difference is huge. Oh. Okay, we're gonna heal her. I'm mean, gonna buff her. And then I believe she's gonna enter the sequence where everything blows up, right? Okay. I'm gonna do a bunch of damage here. Uh... Alright, bite Mika doesn't matter. Gonna buff Nehru. Let's see, this is gonna be a bit tough. Let's see if I can make one last one. Yeah, it's about times 22. That's the best I can do, right? Uh, I doubt there's any other way for you to do it. Now, you gotta rely on third team, sadly, um, just because you lack one character. So you can see how big of a difference that is if you have like, like just one character, New Year Fuka changes or shifts the entire uh, strategy or method of how you want to do things, right? But regardless, hey, don't fret. Don't worry about it too much. Three team is still going to be pretty good, right? You just have to, a little bit of extra hassle for sure. But let's talk about the third team, right? So <clears throat> this is where Midori and Momoi shines. If you have those pair, those two in a pair, highly, highly, highly recommend them. Now, Cherino, again, very, very good. Hasumi cannot be used, alright? So I was thinking of using her, then I, I I thought, okay, you can't use her because this is an insane boss, you're gonna get one-shotted because she's like yellow, right? Defensive is yellow. So anyone that's defense yellow cannot be used. I think Kazusa included, uh, and even Yori, I believe. Yeah, even Yori cannot be used. So who can be used then? Besides Midori and Momoi. Let's say you don't have Midori or you don't have Momoi, you don't have one of the pair or the, the, the two twins. Uh, Pina, very, very strong, prominent character. She is going to be very, very good. Um, uh, what's her name? Mark, not Maki. Um, Junko is also pretty good right here. All right, she also can perform extraordinary damage. Uh, consider these two as an option for sure. Uh, depending on who you prefer, right? So I, uh, I would honestly, I would do something like this. I would bring like this is like really, really high cost, right? Junko, Pina, uh, Cherino, Nonomi. Yes, I understand that, but uh. In all honesty, you, you gotta have like, I think like, you need to have a healer either in front or you can take out Hanae for someone else that can help you that's a single target. For example, Karin is pretty good, right? You can consider using Karin for special. But if I do that, you can also go for something like this. I'm just giving you guys an idea for those of you who are running a third team, right? You can do something like this, Karin, Kotama. And you can take one of these Junko or Pina out. For example, uh, then you need a striker healer. So remember, we use Koharu in phase one. So your other option is Kokona or Tracksuit Mari, which again, not many people have as well. Um, 
So coconut, I think, is much more accessible, right? So that could also be an option, uh, whichever that you want to go with. Uh, it is going to be somewhat of a... I would say it's a pretty viable method. Let me see if you can find my coco, coconuts. Alright, so something like this. Worst come to worst, you can go with the fourth team. But ideally, uh, we can start off with <coughs> coconut heal and then uh, something like Karin. So we just focus down on the boss. My gears are just lacking, I guess. Uh, I'm getting uh, absolutely destroyed. Surprisingly. She's so squishy. I guess mine is not really built yet. Uh, which is going to be a little bit unfortunate. But I still have Pina to be able to uh, get rid of this. Hopefully this is not that uh, difficult of a problem. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of damage actually, surprisingly. As long as... Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, the HP is not, not looking good, but Pina is actually carrying this particular stage. Oh no! The missile got through, the village got destroyed. Oh, that makes sense. I'm like T6. That's why you got a T8, everyone, man. Alright, something like this, uh, Ser Serika is actually pretty good if you guys are looking for someone with high attack speed that's not, uh, unfortunately she doesn't have the type advantage, right? But uh, she can still be used. Alright, if you're just going to like, get a bunch of attack speed, she's not going to be the best character, for sure. But I believe uh, right now, every single one of these, uh, I'm going to bring in Swimsuit Nandoka immediately. So just so, we get the healing early on. Alright, Junko. Nice. How dare you run away? Sarita. Sumair. Yeah, this is just a third, uh, fourth team, right? At that at that point, it's just uh, breeze through with whatever character, whatever students that you have. It's just a couple more HP, right? So regardless, I hope I'm able to showcase some sort of method or strategy in helping you guys tackle insane for Wakamo Hovercraft boss. So yeah, with that being said, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, this is this video is taking longer than I thought. And yeah, I'm going to go edit it and see you guys really, really soon. I'm back to account review, uh, hopefully tomorrow and see how that goes. With that being said, that's going to be it for now. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Give this video a like. Have a nice day. Goodbye.